Bye bye, butterfly. Hey guys, Sean here, Boosted Miata. So my list keeps growing. I've got VCTS butterflies I wanna deal with while I have the motor out. And what these are is on the intake manifold where it connects to the head, there are these little butterflies that open and close based on the engine uh, warm up. So when the engine gets warm, these things, they're kind of closed when the engine's cold start and then as it gets warmer, they open up and that's to help with cold start and cold idle performance. And many people who drive the NB2s with the VCTS butterflies, sometimes they'll notice that uh, as they get into the power on the car, all of a sudden they'll get like this boost and that's because those butterflies open up. So what that tells you is those butterflies are a restriction on the performance of this engine and I don't like that. I want them off. I don't care about how it how it runs when it's cold because I only drive the car when it's warm. I let it warm up thoroughly before I even drive it. So it doesn't even matter to me. So I want to get those things off. All right. So that's what this video is all about. So let's do this. So the intake manifold is attached to the head with a bunch of 12 millimeter nuts right here. You see one uh, underneath here, uh, there's some underneath here. I don't know how many there looks like there's at least eight, maybe 10. And they're in little, you need an extension to get to them. They're in all sorts of locations. There's also some things attached like this uh, fuel hose is attached here. That needs to come off. Um, the banjo oil line that feeds the VVT, that's attached here. That needs to come off. And then there's some coolant lines that need to come off here, which I've already detached. And I think that's it. And there might be a vacuum line or something. If you have EGR still, that'll probably have to come off. I don't have it. And that's it. So let me get this off. And of course, there's always one you forget. There's a 10 millimeter I have to pull out right there. And she's off. And there are the butterflies. You can see them there. So this is the uh, rod that controls these. And it looks like all I need to do is detach the screws here, the actual butterfly screws here. Screw those out and pull this rod out. I don't know, I've never done this before and I haven't read anything online on how to do it. I'm just kind of figuring it out as I go. So, but it doesn't look like rocket science. Plus this out right here. Have a little magnet. When you do this, you can catch it. There you go, see? Caught it with my magnet. right out bingo so here's the here's the actuator rod that the butterflies attached to there it is rod is gone now the question is what do I do with all these holes that are left by taking out the rod all right so I have this uh, JB weld extreme heat metallic putty and I think it's going to do the trick. What I've done is I just did a test. I'm just using my finger and a glove. I just did a test with, um, I don't know if you can see it, with this one right here. And it seems to work pretty good. So that's what I'm going to use. I'm just going to fill up all these holes with that. And I think we're good to go. Okay, that's a mess. <laughs> I'm gonna let that dry up. We'll come back to it, see how it's doing. <laughs> so.
So I did a little bit of cleanup there. The JB Weld is all dry. What I did is I did a quick um, little grind out to get all the hardened JB Weld out of there. So the, really, when you look at this manifold, the one we're really concerned about is the one on the end, right? Because that's really the one that's got the opening to the outside world here, through there. And I wanna make sure that I have that one sealed up nicely and you can see there that it's nicely plugged. And I plugged all the other ones as well, even though I think that's probably less important than making sure that the one that goes to the atmosphere is plugged up. Brake cleaner and a little compressed air and I think this thing is done. I just got all over the camera. Well, that's kind of a disaster. Anyway, I think that's gonna do it. I'm gonna put the intake manifold together a little bit later. I still have a few things I wanna do on the, uh, the engine before I reassemble it all and get it back on there. Thanks a lot, guys. I really, really appreciate it. If you like this video, why don't you give me a thumbs up? Leave me a comment, I'd love to hear from you. In the meantime, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Seven PSI, eight PSI, hold it. I've got a problem here. I can't hold it. She's breaking up, she's breaking up.